So I actually first heard about the PA profession at the Ontario University Fair, which is just something they do in downtown Toronto. And I'm sure across Ontario where they kind of set up little booths for each university and you kind of go learn about undergraduate programs. Um, and I ended up going and I was really interested in McMaster's health sciences program. Um, but while I was wandering through their booth, I actually noticed that they had a medical school booth and beside it, they had a physician assistant booth. And mind you, I had no idea in the 12th grade what a physician assistant was um, and so I was talking to one of the I'm assuming she was a student um, but she was lovely she gave me a pamphlet and she was able to talk me through a little bit about what PAs do and what their role is in healthcare. and this was about five years ago so it was relatively new um, and it still is a relatively new profession um, but I kept it in my back pocket I kind of was thinking you know I'm going to keep this pamphlet at the time I was thinking more pre-med um, but I did keep the pamphlet and I thought you know we'll see where life takes me and as I got into undergrad um, and kind of went through the motions, I have talked about this on my Instagram before, I was kind of a pre-med, a traditional um, pre-med. And so I was doing, you know, the volunteering and the jobs and the shadowing um, in order to get into medical school. But when I was really confronted with the kind of, okay, you have to apply, like the time has come, I was a little bit nervous and I didn't know why and upon some reflection and kind of you know writing down my goals and thinking about what I actually wanted out of my career I realized that medical school really wasn't for me and this was a huge culture shock for me I'm sure if any pre-meds are listening you know you kind of dedicate your undergrad experience to building up to that um, and when I realized that it wasn't for me it was almost like a piece of my identity had kind of been taken away and I didn't really know how to fill that and so I started filling it with shadowing and volunteering um, of different healthcare professions because I wasn't sure what I wanted. I knew I wanted healthcare because I wanted to help people, but I just wasn't sure which route was right for me. Um, and through the shadowing and, you know, doing my research online and talking to people, I came across the PA profession again. And it almost felt like fate because I had learned about it so long ago. And then I revisited it and thought, you know what, I'm going to shadow this profession. I'm going to do more research and see if it's right for me. Um, and here I am, it ended up being what I wanted to do. That sounds like a very familiar journey that I feel like every PA student and practicing PA has gone through. A lot of us just stumble upon the profession. You don't sort of come out of the womb saying you want to be a PA. <laughs> you often stumble upon it uh, looking at other careers. And I think that's something that I really uh, resonate with being on the pre-med route um, and I feel like, was it something that your parents were very invested in or a lot of your peers were going for as well? A hundred percent. So I found that I kind of went into undergrad, not really knowing what I wanted to do, just thinking, you know, like healthcare is for me, let's keep things broad. But then, you know, being in the biomed program, it's very pre-med heavy and it's kind of all they talk to you about. I just remember sitting in like a 600 person lecture and the prof asking on our very first day, you know, who wants to be a doctor? And everybody's hand shot up. And I'm thinking like, okay, my, my tiny little hand too, but I wasn't really sure. But being in that culture and being surrounded by a lot of individuals and peers that wanted to do med school, it kind of fed me to think that I wanted it too. But like I said, you know, when you, when you come to really sit down and think like, okay, I have to apply, like this is the rest of my life and my future. That's kind of when I started thinking like, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe I just avoided thinking about it up until now. And you know what, now's the time to do so. And you talked a lot about doing self-reflection, writing down your goals, and that something really didn't kind of sit right with you when you were sort of contemplating going the traditional med school route. So what was it specific about PA um, that drew you to think, you know, this might be a good fit for me? As I progressed and even in school, the more I learn about the profession, the more I fall in love. But specifically, I remember when I was in my third year and I was kind of contemplating things, I remember thinking like, do I really want to spend this many years in school to do a specialty that I might not be 100% in love with? Like I'm someone who really likes to jump around and I don't really get comfortable in, um, in jobs and in certain situations. I like to, you know, keep things interesting and keep switching. So I love the idea of lateral mobility with the PA profession. Um, and ultimately I did just want to like a lot of the things that I've learned recently, especially public health wise, I wanted to bridge those gaps in healthcare. 
Um, and I found that the PA profession um, was something that could help me do so and kind of work with communities, for example, rural communities to be able to do so. And of course, you can do those things with the traditional medicine route as well. I'm not saying that you can't, but with the PA profession, the kind of missions that they were after was it kind of lined up with my own goals, especially when I spent time journaling. I found that I just kind of all felt perfect and I felt like the profession was meant for me even thinking back, like talking to my family about this kind of stuff was so hard because I come from a Middle Eastern background and just physician assistant itself doesn't translate nicely. It sounds like an assistant. And so my parents and my family and extended family were like, you're too smart to be an assistant. And I was like, well, that's not what it is. And explaining and having that conversation is something that was so foreign to me. Whereas, you know, my other family members, if they had, you know, just said, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a nurse you know, there's not really any follow up questions. It's kind of just like accepted as a statement and they move on, whereas I had to kind of do that. Um, but you know what, I find that over time, it becomes easier to answer that question. And now when people ask me like, why PA, why not med, I kind of have an answer. And even if it's not what the other person is looking for, I know that it makes me happy. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. It takes a lot of self reflection and courage, I think, to pursue something that isn't as traditional and as well known. So I think that's a journey that a lot of uh, pre-PAs and PA students uh, and practicing PAs I'm sure go through too. Yeah, it's kind of unique, honestly, the journey that we have to go because like we don't really like come out of the womb thinking this is what I want to do. We stumble across it. We learn it on, about it online. We see someone's Instagram or Facebook and then we're like, what's this? What's this new cool profession? And then the process of telling people, you know what, I don't want to do this thing that I told you I wanted to do. I now want to do this one. It's so hard and it's always the follow up of like, why? And all of those wonderful questions. Um, but you know what, patients also ask, as I've learned in the program so far, that most of the time when you encounter a patient interaction, they're gonna be like, what's a PA? It's so new. So practicing on your family is probably gonna help me in my future anyways, so no big deal. So it's perfect, a conversation you're prepared to have over and over again. It's kind of trailblazing and doing something different, which you know is not the path for everybody, but I'm glad it worked out for you. Thank you so much. Yes, you took the words right out of my mouth. It's super hard and it's difficult at first, but it gets so much easier. And now it's like a clear path. And what were some of the other careers that you were contemplating or was it just PA versus MD? So actually it was a ton of other careers. This is something that I find I'm a little bit unique when I talk to other students. So a lot of them just have the PA versus MD in their mind. Whereas I kind of, when I left the MD and I kind of came to that conclusion, I was like, wow, I don't know anything else that exists because this is what I've been fixated on for so long. And so I actually did a ton of shadowing in my third and fourth year to kind of figure that out. And I shadowed, I think, a physio, um, an OT, a nurse practitioner, a naturopath, and then a PA. Um, and I also, through volunteering, was able to, you know, see what they like a nurse does, a radiation technologist, um, a ton of other professions. And you know what, I found that although I did enjoy working with them, and I loved what they did, I just found that being there and kind of exploring the day in the life, um, particularly like in person and kind of following them around, it was easy to know what I wanted to do and what I didn't want to do. Um, so again, as, as I'm I love what they do um, and I know that it's important, but it just wasn't for me. And then when I shadowed um, a PA during my third year, I almost instantly knew like, this is exactly what I wanna be doing. Um, I knew that it was, you know, the way I could like build like a patient relationship um, and I could follow people um, throughout their lives. And I could also, you know, help diagnose and treat, which is really what I wanted to do the whole time. I just took a while to figure it out. Yeah, the opportunity to practice medicine, but in a little bit of a different way. And I think the fact that you did the research um, with an open mind, uh, you're going to be encountering um, those other health professions anyway as a practicing PA. So that only helps and benefits you in the long run instead of just focusing on uh, the one career um, in your undergrad. Very yeah, helpful. So, so nice to learn about what other people did in healthcare because like I said, when I left the MD idea, I was kind of like, I don't even know what an OT does. You know what I mean? I don't know what the difference is between a nurse and an NP. Like I kind of had to go through the motions and figure that out. Um, and having that broad kind of idea of all of the different healthcare professions was almost easier to narrow it down rather than just like fixating on another one instead of MD, you know what I mean? Having that broad kind of idea, um, it made it easier to know like which ones were for me and which ones weren't.